duck and go, okay? But for me, I will finish what I've started. That's it. Chidi. Yes? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm getting over excited. What do you mean, man? Just look at the deep. Three drinks already. We have money for just two. Have you forgotten? Huh? Wait. You don't have money. Look at you. You don't have money. Over <laughs> Murale. <laughs> It is true. As much as anybody pff, tries to paint it, it is true. Um, I've seen people go audition, 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 and I shake my head. It is the right thing to do to audition. But are you auditioning? You auditioning people? Are you auditioning to show off? Because for me, it's show off when you have casted everybody and there's no, there's nothing that is there that you're calling people for. You know, I, I kick against it. I tell them if you have a role for people, you know, good roles for people. Throw, there are no small roles. Don't get me wrong. The only small actors, but let some people show, some new people showcase themselves. You know, and that is what I have um, been able to do in all my movies, you know, I give opportunity, good opportunities to new people because that's the way I grew and that doesn't happen anymore. The risk, I'll forever respect MME song, I'll forever respect people like Aquila, I'll forever respect, you know, uh, Ruki Amata, Andy Amenici because they gave me that opportunity. What happened to me will never, I quote you today, well, it, it's, uh, if it happens, I'll thank God, but I haven't seen it happen. That you see an unknown person, you cast these heavyweights around the person and you bring him in and he's the lead character of the movie. No, it's not going to happen. Why? So if you want to audition, audition right. There are talents out there. Trust me, as Mike is ruined, the iconic actor, I want to presume I'm being perceived that I have seen a mechanic a, uh, um, an Okada mechanic, motorcycle mechanic, artistically challenged me, and I was like, "What? No, this guy is good." I was ad lipping. The guy was ad lipping. The guy, and I was like, "No, you are, you're not supposed to be here." Then I wasn't producing, you know. But that is some guy I know. I will look. I'm, I, there's a movie I'm going for in the east. I will go around that place where that shop is. If I can find him, I will get him. Um, I have seen somebody in Mina, a boy that was selling for his mother. He was, in, he was in secondary school going to university. This boy gave me artistic problems, as Mike is doing that I thought I was. You understand? I mean, so there are lots of talents out there which will give birth to something or which has given birth to a show that I'm, I'm shooting next year. You know, I'm going to go all out to unconventional places to get, I will go with my team to get talents. So it could be in your salon, it could be in the market, it could be in the hostel, it could be in the slums. I will get talents and make a movie. There is a movie I even have uh, coming up real soon. Um, it's a history, it is a historic story. It is a very historic uh, movie of, uh, it's called Robin Hood in Bendo. Yeah, it's coming up. It's the untold story of Anini, and I'm using somebody who is unknown. I'm going to, I'll go between Benin, Wari, and I'll find my lead character. So, you see, for me, why would I be on this level and I will not help people? Why would people fly all the way from Enugu, from Benue State, come here to audition, stay in hotels, and at the end of the day, you don't have anything for them. Yes, they have to keep trying, don't get me wrong, but people who are producers, please give opportunities to these new people. I've been able to prove that in my movies, and I challenge anybody to say that Mike Israel has given opportunity to brand new faces you haven't seen anywhere, or you might have seen in one or two places in his movies, and I'll continue doing that because that's my pact with God. Maybe they, uh, they've not done it to me. Yeah. I don't care if you say I'm trying to protect my industry. Of course I'll protect my industry, but they've not done that to me, you know? Because 
When I'm working, I'm a different person. I'm very passionate about my job. You know, even if you're my friend, if you're not good, I will not put you in that movie. You will not do it. I don't care who you are, because for me, it, the success and failure of the movie, apart from it being a director's picture, it's on everybody's teamwork. So even right from <clears throat> rehearsals, I'm, I'm, I'm a different person. I'm very passionate about my craft, you know? So if that is happening, I'm sorry. If you're doing it to sleep with a director or sleep with producers to get into a movie, trust me, people, if you've done it or you're doing it, you will fizzle away. Because at the end of the day, let me shock you. It is the people, it is you guys that keep us here. The most important people are the people outside. If you're not good, they'll get tired of watching that movie. They'll get tired of watching your face. And that means the producer starts to lose money. What happens? He goes broke and out of business. So it's something that's short-lived. But for me, it's never happened to me. Wow. Plenty of um, critical decision. Live to remember. The King and I. The duplex. Um, I think I want to say um, beyond reason. Yeah. Wow. Why did they to blood? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I will take it, but from behind, I will, I will, I will still work. They wouldn't know. No, no, I, I love, I love, I love, I love my craft. It's, see, seriously, I, I, this is what makes me happy. This is what makes me happy. It's as if you're taking away my happiness from me. So I'm sorry to snitch, but I will work, you know, I will work from behind, you know. That my 700 million will still come back into this industry and I will monitor what goes on, you know, even if I have to pay for people to shut up. You know, but really, it can, money doesn't, money is good, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm going to be realistic. Of course, we love money, you know, but, but I'll tell you this, I'll take that money, but somehow that money will still recycle, will still you turn back into the industry, yes. Okay, there are two people, or three people who I haven't worked with so far that I want, I don't know, we even ask ourselves when we say, why, why we never work now? One is Funke, Funke Akindili, yes. Another one is in Kemowo, Majid. Yeah, I've not worked with Majid before, you know. Um, yeah, I want to, then, um, there are people that are exciting me right now. Let's leave the older people, they're exciting me. You know, I'm excited with, how their growth is, because realistically, they're very good actors, and uh, I actually have something for uh, for them. Um, Bisola. Bisola is a talent, and um, I think as artistic as I am, there, there's still some things, you know, I'm not being big-headed. There's still more in that girl that I feel you know, should be showcased, you know. It just takes some artistic strength to get it out of her. And um, I'm also excited with, uh, some people say she, 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 she's overrated. I, some people say she's being pushed. I think she's a bundle of talent. We will use Lala. I like Lala. I like her, she's artistically strong for me. Yeah, yeah. My advice is this. Do you have passion for the arts, for this part of the arts? Do you have drive? Do you work hard? 
are you working on something are you are you doing something doing something in the sense within yourself are you impersonating characters are you impersonating me are you impersonating some big character in hollywood are you impersonating a big character in nigeria are you impersonating your neighbor are you working with your mirror till today my mirror is my i impersonate every day every day i'm that i'm that let me not call myself but if i stay with you too long the, I, I was called recorder when i was young if i stay with you too long i will play you even from walking to mannerism are you working on something because you have to keep working not just oh i can't act and somebody brings you are you developing yourself you have the internet today you hold the world in your hands you have internet sensations today it came up from nothing because with the phone they have the world with the smartphone are you working are you impersonating characters the josh is there today when he came up people thought he was stupid but the phone brought him out via instagram inedu wasobia was in on radio today i mean he's been in like uh, two of my movies now and he, people are calling him for different things and he's an ambassador of lots of brands uli agba Aruli, these are people on the phone, and today they're working. So what are you doing? What is your passion? Are you passionate about it? It's sometimes, instead of making all those phone calls and just checking nonsense on, on, on Instagram, work on something, pitch your own tent. In science, we're taught that one star in the sky is bigger than the whole earth. That means there's the same way, there's, lots, there's a lot of opportunity for everybody, you can pitch your own tent. Don't let anybody tell you that there's no space. Nollywood didn't accept you, okay. But ah, I have one guy in my village I can impersonate now. I'm funny now, uh, I can do, yeah. trust me, we'll find it. Yeah, some people have called um, to work for me and, and, and they were shocked. Like, ah, really, are you sure it's the real mic calling me? Ah, no, 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 you can't, you know, I, 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 trust me, these producers, um, directors, influencers from even political and corporate Nigeria, they are watching. They are seeing these things, they are seeing these things, they are watching, they are seeing blogs, they are seeing all these things. So are you working? That is the first question I ask. Are you working on something? Are you doing any plays? Are you impersonating characters? Are you looking at the mirror and you're seeing not yourself, you're seeing another person? thereby developing your mind artistically. Work hard on it, your talent will find you. You know my other concerns, you know my other concerns. Um, even, a lot of people don't know, even music videos, there's some music videos I've just stayed behind and artistically just did my thing and I said, no, I don't want my name, not now. You know, you can't testify to it, not even in zone. You know what I mean? I've done it for people. Um, I've written, I've been, I'm a ghostwriter for, for, for um, storyboards. I write storyboards for some, for music videos. People don't know that. You know, so there are many things I do. I'm a, I'm a ghostwriter for, you know, but then for me, it's, I think Africa now. I, that's my vision, I think Africa. You know, how do I push my country and my art to Africa? That's my focus. And next year, God help me, I will, I will get there. You know, it, it's, it's just very um, unfortunate. And, and I like to say this today. <laughs> um, yes, I have projects, you know, next year I'm gonna be having lots of uh, African um, influences like I said but please we like to use this opportunity to talk to um, exhibitors from cable TV to even the cinemas and also the states governments. India, the movie industry in India started 
with people the same way Nollywood started. Privates from private pockets and they just started. And then the government saw what they were doing and the numbers they were churning out and immediately they invested in 22 cinemas. Bollywood today is big. It's not that I'm there. It's not what we watched before. They are huge today. And they're showcasing to the world their culture. It hurts me when I see, when I hear from producers who will put up, do a movie and, it's of, and it portrays culture. And it is the least no matter how well you shoot it, is the least prized by people who buy content. Thereby forcing filmmakers to show, to start trying to copy the Western culture because they run away from who they are. Because they feel like, oh, they're not going to accept this, they're not going to buy it right. Please, Nollywood grew by who we are. What are we teaching our our, our, our children. What are we teaching generations to come? I don't care what, you cannot make a Nigerian believe that the way he plays love is by spreading uh, um, uh, rose petals from, from, from the car to the bathtub. That is not us. So let us try as much as possible to be original in telling our stories of our existence. Let's, and then state governments, please, if you can invest in cinemas, infrastructure for the cinemas, and give priority to would-be filmmakers from your state, I'm not saying give me money or whatever, from your state, to portray your own culture, you know, and shot on a very high medium, you know, the right standards then your culture goes into the cinemas too. Then you can tell the world your stories as well. Because it is sad that uh, a filmmaker from a kitty state cannot showcase his culture, cannot go and get money to shoot things about his culture and it will be bought. They'll look at it like, this one, a village film. We are losing our brand equity as Nigerians and every filmmaker should please try as much as possible. No matter how you tell the story, even if you're shooting abroad, try as much as possible to say, to deplete who we are. That's all I'm asking from corporate Nigeria to political Nigeria, especially from the States. I'm appealing, have a cinema in your States. Privatize it. Give priority to your filmmakers to tell your story. Because if you don't tell your story, nobody will tell it for you. You don't expect an Edo man to come and tell a, 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 an Oshun story. You don't expect an Oshun man to tell an Edo story. That's it. Hello everybody, how you doing? Are you putting your mouth where your money is? Or your money where your mouth is? I'm saying this wholeheartedly and I'm giving this huge, huge shout out to Vibe.ng. Stay on it, be on it, it is it. <laughs> Over Mugele, eh? Osh, Ross, Apiaga, aha, I better look build the lecky on for Posh. Over Murale, Murale, Over Murale, Murale, Over Murale, Murale, Over Mugele.